Hi there, Yep, Nick Dutch here yet again. I've been watching a uh, Redneck Trucker video. There's a YouTube user called Redneck Trucker, and he's uh, an atheist, and he criticizes Bible literalism, and he does a very good job. However, as is often the case with the arguments against Bible literalism, there are some minor issues. In this one particular video, he provides an example of one particular Bible literalist theist, and sets about trying to dissect the argument. The Bible literalist theist provides a very simplistic argument based upon the idea of blind belief, and blind belief being somehow good or beneficial, which is, of course, rubbish. If they would just take God at his word... As St. Paul said, test everything, trust that which is true. Obviously, the Bible literalist theist is assuming that the Bible is the literal word of God, which, of course, it can't be because it's written by humans. So obviously, if you play a game of Chinese whispers, you will know that when something is said, it can be misinterpreted. And so essentially, we're talking about the literal misinterpretation of something which might and or might not be divinely inspired. There's an example given of trusting the functions of the human body and just allowing yourself to have blind faith in the functions of the human body. I do not know how my body assimilates the liquid and the food that I put in it, yet I know that when I get hungry, that I need to provide my body with something to eat. My body does its own thing, taking what it needs and getting rid of what it doesn't need or want. If this is God's ultimate perfect design, why do we have waste products? Wouldn't it be a much better design if we only ate exactly the amount that we needed? However, although it's a good idea to find holes in the arguments of the Bible literalism, to try and provide a contrary argument that the body itself is not perfect does not take into account any benefits that theism could actually have for an individual. Once again, the theistic Bible literalists are defending theistic Bible literalism and not defending theism. And the atheist, or the, in this case the atheist, is criticizing the theistic Bible literalism and is not taking into account what the benefits of theism might actually be. Also, as we can see, the theist, Bible literalist, is making a statement that even atheists believe in something. Therefore, atheism is some kind of belief system, which might have some validity to a certain degree and within certain limits. But again, it is not focusing on the benefits of theism. Okay, first off, you have to realize that just because you're an atheist does not mean that you do not believe in anything. Atheist just pertains to gods. We can see that the arguments of both the atheist and the theist are essentially circular. The theist only seems to be fighting with the power of dogma. The atheist is only fighting against the power of dogma. The theist is using dogma to prove the existence of God, or indeed the apparent benefits of the theistic way, but without even talking about theism or the theistic way, just talking about dogma, and thus providing plenty of ammunition for the atheist to attack. When theism can grow up to the point of saying, this is what we do, this is the benefits we get, this is why we do it, and atheism can grow up to the point of seeing the benefits of theism and explaining the benefits of atheism, then we'll be moving on to a much better quality of debate with the passage of time. However, we don't have that these days. I think that's got to change. But with the way the world is at the moment, we don't have that much in the way of chances. Most of us grew up in religion. Most of us 
practiced religion fervently. Some of us practiced multiples of religions and found that all of them fail. So when Rednick Trucker says the most of us grew up in religion and found that religion fails, does he mean theism fails, or does he mean that all religions fail, or does he just mean that Bible literalism fails? Now, to discuss religion as being uh, a definition of the way that the natural laws work would be a complete fallacy. It would be uh, a lie in every possible way. Now, Alphonse Louis Constant said in his book Transcendental Magic that all mythology is true in some manner, and that is by allegory. So sometimes um, allegorical ideas can be very useful to people. But it doesn't matter what organization you're a part of. It doesn't matter what religion you're a part of. There will always be interpretation, reinterpretation, and misinterpretation. And part of the process of going through these stages is to just slowly and surely grow in your understanding. Fundamentalism wants a monochrome, black and white understanding of the way the world works and defines it in terms of Bible literalism. Atheism doesn't. Atheism makes a suggestion of a lack of belief. But that lack of belief is also negating any potential benefits that theism could have as opposed to dogmatic religion. I guess the question is, when an atheist is tackling or discussing a theist, or what a theist says, I guess the question is, when an atheist is discussing things that a theist is saying, what precisely is the atheist trying to discuss? And how advanced is the atheist's understanding of the things that he or she is discussing or debating? Is the atheist tackling theism, or is the atheist tackling dogma? If the atheist is tackling dogma, then the argument is going to become circular. If the atheist is tackling theism, the atheism will have to have a good understanding as to what the benefits of theism really are. However, I have not yet, in eight months' worth of viewing atheist YouTube videos, seen a single YouTube video from a member of the atheist community which went into the subject of theism. It would be nice if we could have a change in this state of affairs. If they would just take God at his word 